Today, we're releasing three new models and a bunch of new tools and capabilities designed to make it really easy for developers to build rich, human-like voice experiences. OpenAI just released two huge new models for ChatGPT. They have, well, created these new models that gives developers advanced options when coming to making AI voices. Check it out. Experiences. We have two new state-of-the-art speech-to-text models that outperform our previous model, Whisper, on literally every language that we've tested. We have a new text-to-speech model that for the first time lets developers control not just what the model says, but how it says it. And then we have a big update to our agents SDK to make it really easy to turn text-based agents into voice agents. And we see two primary approaches that developers take. The first one is using more futuristic speech-to-speech -speech models. These are models that are capable of understanding audio directly and speaking directly back. They're really fast. They're what powers advanced voice mode in ChatGPT and our real-time API. The other approach, which a lot of developers do as the way to get started in voice, is what we think of as a chained approach where you take a speech-to-text model, understands what the user says, turns it into a text transcript that's then processed by a text-only LLM, like GPT-40, and then that model figures out an appropriate response and passes it to a text-to-speech model to speak back to the user. Developers often love the chained approach, first because it's modular. They can mix and match all of the different components, so they're using the best models for their use case. They also love it because it's the easiest way to get really high reliability. The gold standard in terms of intelligence is still text-based models, though the speech-to-speech -speech models are catching up quickly. And then the third reason they love it is it's easier to get started. You can take all of the work that you've done in a text-based agent, and you can prepend a speech-to-text model on one side, put text-to-speech on the other side, and now you have a voice agent. So for today, we're mostly going to focus on how we have new tools to help you build voice agents with that chained approach. As you see in that clip there, they had these two new models that really did shift how developers can make these new voice models in their own app. So they went over that there's two currently used models that AI is using. There's a text-to-speech and then there's a speech-to-speech -speech, where the text-to-speech translates text into audio and speech-to-speech -speech understands you speaking to the AI and it turns that audio into just another audio format and responds back to you. So it's more like how a person talks to you and it talks back. But that's how they currently use it in their advanced voice features in AI. But how a lot of other people and developers and companies use AI voice is they use a speech to text and then a text to speech. Let me explain. They have a model that once you talk to it, it then takes what you are saying and turns those words that you are saying into like text or so into a word notebook or some type of text message, just as an example. And then they take that text that you spoke to it and puts it into an AI to interpret, to understand what you're saying. And then it understands what you're saying. It gives back a response from the AI in text, but then that text that the AI spit out is now turned into audio, which is what you hear. I think from the end user perspective, most people wouldn't be able to understand that like, this is what's going on behind the scenes. This is more like about a developer and architecture design type of issue, but from the end user, it's the same. But I think it's more human to have a speech to speech versus a text to speech. But they said there's basically three things that are really good with the text to speech. Basically that it's really reliable at this is still the best one to use when having a conversation with AI because, well, you can really control a lot more with the text versus speech. Also, it's really good because, well, you can easily integrate this into your already existing pipelines and developer systems instead of trying to overhaul it to a speech models. You can always use your existing text-based AI responses and just integrate the text and speech-to-text models and you really get pretty far with it. But not only that, they also introduced that they have two new advanced voice capabilities that should help developers. Check it out. We're also enhancing our speech to text APIs with streaming so developers can pass in a continuous stream of audio into the model and get a continuous stream of text in response. That makes it easier to build really fast experiences. 
and we're bundling into these APIs a bunch of hard problems that developers need to solve to build voice experiences. So they come with noise cancellation, so the model isn't going to get tripped up by background sounds. They also include a new semantic voice activity detector, which chunks the audio up based on when the model thinks the user's actually finished speaking. So as a developer, you don't need to worry about processing some half-spoken idea. Um, and all those capabilities are available in the speech-to-text APIs as well as in our real-time API. So, As you've seen in that clip, they said they had two new capabilities that are going into the existing API, the agent API, that will help developers. This will help developers because it helps with removing background noise and understanding who is talking. So let's say you're in a busy subway, some type of busy, just maybe supermarket, or in a car, classroom, or whatever. Sometimes it'll be hard for AI to understand what you're saying because there's so much background noise. Maybe there's other people or just environmental noises. This new AI capability helps identify the speaker and helps cut out the background noise. So when you're talking to it, it understands what you're saying and it won't add more sound effects or other voices that are in the background. Also, one of the issues for the voice capabilities is when you talk to AI, sometimes there's an issue with it interrupting you when you're not even done talking. You'll talk to it and then it'll just kind of cut across you and speak and then you have to reiterate the sentence or you have to speak faster. And that's usually because it doesn't understand when you're actually done talking. It just takes in input from your voice or takes input, change that into text, but doesn't actually know where is the period, where is the end of the sentence, the paragraph or whatever you're saying to answer your question. And so now this new capability helps create sections. So it actually understands when you're talking the structure of your sentence so it can create a better response, which definitely helps out for developers because you wouldn't want it to take in a partial question and when you wasn't done with a sentence and spit you out a partial answer because I didn't understand that you wasn't done talking. They also did something that I think is pretty cool and they actually have a contest for it. They have this open AI FM place where you can actually play around right now with the different voices and tones and I'll let them speak more about that. Check it out. Very excited for you to check that out. Next capability is a new text-to-speech model, GPT-40 Mini TTS. Yaroslav, would love for you to show us how this one works. Yeah, let me pull this up. So um, <clears throat> this is openai.fm. Um, it's a website uh, we built just to make it easy to play with this new model. Um, so as you can see, there are a bunch of voices that you can choose from. Um, there are different prompts that we pre-generated, but you can also type in your own. So this is basically a new field that we added. It's an instructions field that tells the model how you want it to speak the text. Um, so yeah, let's maybe try um, try some... Um, Mad scientist, some, please. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, like we prompted basically like how you, we want to deliver, what kind of so tone we want to have. It's high energy, it's chaotic. Exactly, All yeah. All right, let's, let's, let's see. see what Ahaha! The stars tremble before my <laughs> genius. The rift is open, the energy surging. Unstable? Perhaps <laughs> dangerous. Most certainly, <laughs> Captain Ryland. This is really intense. Okay, so that's a lot. I'm curious if we took the same voice and tried to, yeah, let's yeah, make it surreal. Yeah, yeah, let's see. How about we... Let's say um, the live stream is going really well. Yes. You're doing great. Yeah. This live stream is going really well. You are doing great. <laughs> Thank you. As you see there, they had different voices that they were creating on the fly, just using text. They were just able to comp this, not using some type of back end slider. They were just able to prompt this and it spat out these responses. This is gonna really help out when it comes to how you may want to craft your AI for your business. So it's already cool that AI is able to understand you, maybe even understand what you're saying and give you a response with the voice. But when you want something to represent your brand, you may want that to represent you in a certain type of way. And now you can actually craft whether it's tonality, the aggressiveness, or whatever you have it. And they said they have a contest coming out too that, well, if you, I guess, buy later on today, send in your opening AI voice that you make, and it's really good. They'll be sending out, I think, five different ChatGPT radios. I'm interested. I'm not sure how much time I'll have to devote to it, but I may take a crack at it and see if I can win one of those radios. 
If you think this is pretty cool and if you're a developer and you can't wait to get your hands ready with this, you should definitely like and subscribe to keep up in the latest and greatest AI news, tech news, robotics news. You should definitely like and subscribe. With that being said, your boy Dexter out. We thought, why not do a contest? Uh, you know, just like an old school like radio station, like a radio contest, if you will. Um, and so you have until tomorrow night, so Friday night, to go on Opa.fm and come up with like the most creative like use of that text-to-speech uh, technology and share it with OpenAI Twitter. Um, and we'll pick three winners, and we have this amazing gift uh, for the winners, which is a radio from our friends at Teenage Engineering. Special edition, there are only three in the world because there is OpenAI logo in the back. Um, anyway, go to OpenAI.fm, share it on Twitter, and we'll send a tweet with like more details on the terms uh, of the context. Um, have fun, and yeah, see ya.